We're going to be taking a look today at Puzzle Fighter 2X for matching service for the Dreamcast. And hey, look at that, 180 points. Let's put it in and see if it's worth that $100 price tag. Well, it's already got the Dreamcast official seal of quality. <laughs> well, let's get into this. We're going to start with the arcade mode. Now there are three distinct modes in Arcade. There's X, Y, and Z. I'll be going over the differences between them individually. Now we're going to start from the top. We have here the three different difficulties. They don't just change the difficulty, they actually change how many matches. While the easy option is only three matches, the second two have eight. Character Select. Now you get to choose between Street Fighter or Dark Stalker characters. You may know these characters a little bit better from Vampire Chronicles on the Dreamcast. Now your opponent is chosen and it's off to battle. Now I'm sure you've already noticed this, but it does become a little bit clearer once the battle actually starts that these are super deformed chibi versions of these characters. It's actually a really cool aesthetic for this game and I loved it in Gem Fighter and Pocket Fighter as well. It just kind of adds to the overall charm of the game and it's why a lot of people really like it, other than the fact that it's a super solid puzzler. Now what you're currently watching is the X mode. In the X mode there are crash gems. Those crash gems match up with the same color gems. When they do, they'll both explode. Now if there are other gems of the same color touching those two, then that will explode as well. The key is to build a large gem and connect as many of that same color to it as possible. and then blow them all up at once. That gets you the best multiplier, you're trying to build chains, and that will allow you to add the most to the person next to you. You lose the game once your gems hit the top, much like Tetris. Now we're gonna go over the Y mode. Now this mode is very different because you actually start off with counter gems that are gonna count down from nine to zero. The other big difference between this mode is instead of actually having to use an activator, all you need is three or more of the same color in a row, whether that be diagonally, top to bottom, left to right, it doesn't matter. That's why these countdown gems are actually pretty awesome. If you plan ahead, you can get some serious chains just based on them. You can also get matches just by gems falling on top of each other, which is why you will never feel safe in this mode. No matter how good you're doing, there is a chance you're about to lose. Even on easy mode. No, it was doing so good. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And this is the final mode, mode Z. This basically is more like a bejeweled. Uh, you spin them on an axis and you have to match them up. Now the second they touch an activator or a crash gem, they are actually going to start exploding. You have very, very little time to attach new gems to that and try to make a combo. So pre-planning is a must if you want to make big gems or big chains. You'll be surprised by how many times you activate a gem and then have to frantically search for ones that match it and try to get them attached as quick as possible. When you pull it off though, you look like a master. Now I'm going to share a little secret I found out a while ago. Highlight options. Hold R and L and hit A. It opens up EX options. Now scroll down to this right here. Press right on the D-pad once. You've now enabled English for so many things in the game. 
it's mostly English now. The only thing that's left in Japanese is actually the options themselves. And here we have before and after. Much better, right? We even got translations for what the characters say after the fight. But most importantly of all, the entire tutorial is actually in English now. Literally the best cheat ever, just a kindness from Capcom. Now Sean and I are gonna check out the multiplayer. Damn man, this game's addictive as hell. God, I love puzzle games. No, 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 no! How did this even happen? How'd that even happen? Ooh. Good thing I didn't put the money on you this time. Remember, there's three extra characters to choose from. You just gotta select it from the bottom three characters, hit down. Akuma? Yeah, I already oh, picked, picked him. him Akuma Matata. What you should pick Dan, he's just as powerful. You should pick Dan. Yeah, no, no, you should totally pick Dan. I just wanna... Yeah, Dan's the best. I wanna change his color, then. That's one thing, you can't go back. Dan's literally the worst. Oh, thank you. All the red. All oh, this red. Oh, please add it. Keep coming. Jeez, Give me more red. It's keep making it. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's a super combo. I don't get why you want more red. Because, dude, you give me rows and rows of matching colors. Why red? Because that's your pattern. Your pattern is a whole. A whole wall of red where mine is like all these different colors that don't match. You're basically giving me perfect ammunition to like defeat you. Thank you. No! Thank you. <laughs> what do you think was gonna happen? I, I was hoping most that of my board just fell off. I was hoping that some of them would Speaking like delete. <sighs> Not again. Oh man. Here we go. Shut up. Alright, one. Two, three, four! Ah, I made a massive comeback there. Because I should have died like two minutes ago. Yeah, you should have. Especially playing with Dan. I don't Why know is if Dan you, so awful? I don't know if you noticed what his pattern is. Like, his, his counter pattern is all red. It's the worst thing you could possibly give me. Well, for you. Like, for me, it's awesome. Because you basically send a whole carpet of red down, and then once it turns into an actual piece, it's amazing for me. Well, this is more than slightly familiar. Hey, uh, don't know if you noticed it all, but, um, about Jake. That was the craziest kill uh, ever. Shush. Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> well, that was fun. I figure I'll go over this real quick, the illustrations mode. There's actually a lot of pretty cool pictures in here. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can flip them, you hit right trigger to go forward and see the next picture. It's crazy how much detail is actually on these images. I don't know if they were promotional materials or concept art. Either way, it's really fun to look at. Even though there isn't a ton of pictures to see, they have a ton of detail and you can zoom in very far. And some are actually pretty risque, I'm surprised they made it on the disc. This is a fantastic puzzle game. If you really are into the puzzle genre and you are a collector, yes, it is worth the $100 price tag. Now, if you want to spend that on a puzzle game, that's honestly up to you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Here's some uninterrupted showtime. DreamcastHub.com also sells t-shirts. Use promo code PUZZLER for 10% off t-shirts.
And if you haven't checked out a review for Baldur Force EXE, check it out. It's in the top left. Click it. Yo, yo, yo.